Hi, I'm Gavin Glixman, you're watching Sunboxing, joined today by George Groves. George, I know you never look beyond the fight, but James DeGale could well be the IBF title in the matter, so whoever wins between you and Carl could end up facing James next. How do you feel about that? Fantastic. Fantastic. James needs to keep winning. Um, you know, they're talking about him maybe getting him on the other card, we don't know. It'd be nice for him. Last fight was out in Bristol in a leisure centre, so he needs to get back in the, the public eye if he wants to be involved in these big fights. Yeah, sure, he's winning and he's, he's forced his way through this long old path. And I think he was, before he was an eliminator to fight for an eliminator for the final eliminator for WBC. He's obviously opted to go the IBF route, which is logical and it, and it can build towards another big fight. You know, me, me and me and Degal is a fight that will always create public interest, I feel, because of the history. And uh, as always, I wish him luck. I hope he, I hope he keeps winning, whether he does it in style or does it as he is doing, just grinding out the results, whatever, um, we'll get it on. Having talked to the two of you, the, the rivalry seems to have mellowed a little bit now, but is that just because you've gone down different routes or is it just that now I guess you could be in the same room without wanting to kill each other? No, I think, I think, I think it will heat up as soon as it heats up. I think James is starting to accept what he is. <laughs> he makes jokes about how he can't sell tickets and how he fights on Channel 5 in front of millions but no one knows who he is and no one could pay to see him box or no one cares about him to be honest. And then on the flip side, since our fight, um, people think my career was stalled at times but I'm fighting in the biggest fight in British boxing history. James DeGaulle can only dream of that at the moment. He'll be involved in a big fight but his, his, his career revolves around me and whether I fight him or not because if I don't fight him, even if he fights Carl Frotch, that's not a fight that people are that particularly interested in seeing. They just want to see me fight him uh, because of the rivalry, because of the history. So James has a fight, uh, as a style that I think switches people off. He has a personality that in the past has switched people off. Um, I, like, I like loud, brash James who you know, tells it as it is at times and, and, uh, and aims for the stars. At the moment he seems to be settling a little bit and talking about his age and he's getting on and just wants, wants to fight for world title and maybe one or two more. It's not what I want to hear from him. Just finally, Andre Ward's claiming that he's become sort of the most avoided man in the division. Is he someone you'd like to fight? I'd love to fight Andre Ward. I'd fight Andre Ward tomorrow if the fight was made. Um, commercially, I probably need a fight or two that's going to get my name a little bit bigger in the States. This next fight's going to be covered by HBO, so I've got that. So this is a fight that could take place sooner rather than later. He's avoided for many reasons because the risk reward isn't there for fighters. You know, if you're an unbeaten prospect and you're going with Ward, could get beat for relatively low money in probably what will be a sloppy fight that, that won't be viewed by a lot of people. So that's why a lot of fighters have decided to, to go against him. But I want to be the best in the division. And as long as he's in my division and he's considered the best, if not well, one of the best, then I'm going to fight him at some point. So I've got to get Cole Frotch out of the way first, and then if there's any mandatories or whatever else. But Andre Ward, I think, is a fantastic fighter. Uh, for me, it would be a, uh, a great thing to, to have his name on my record as a, as a win. George, brilliant. Thanks cool. for your time. Best of luck for May 1st. Cheers, mate.